Dani, Assistant Professor at LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. Today I will teach you a new unit that is multiple integrals. And today in this unit I will teach you a new topic that is double integrals over rectangles and general regions. So let's start. First of all we will see what is double integrals over rectangles and general regions. The double integral of function of x comma y over closed bounded region R is defined by double integration over a given region R of function of x y dA or double integration of function of x y over a given region R dx dy or double integration of function of x y dy dx over a given region R. dA that is nothing but dx dy or dy dx. Now we will see examples related to this topic. We have to evaluate this double integration. Integration from 1 to 2, integration from 0 to 1, into bracket 1 plus 3xy dx dy. And here is dx. So this limit is of x which is from 0 to 1. And here is dy. So this limit is of y which is from 1 to 2. So whenever both limits are constant, you can integrate the given function of x y with respect to x first then with respect to y or with respect to y first then with respect to x. Choice is yours. So whenever first you will integrate with respect to x, you have to keep y constant and whenever you will integrate first with respect to y, you have to keep x constant. Now here is the solution. Integration from 1 to 2, integration from 0 to 1, 1 plus 3xy dx dy. Here first we are integrating with respect to x. So we will keep y constant. Now integration of 1 with respect to x, answer is x. Then after plus, this 3 and y will be constant. Now integration of x raised to 1. According to the formula, integration of x raised to n dx that is equals to x raised to n plus 1 upon n plus 1. So integration of x that is x square by 2 and the limit is from 0 to 1. Now this is equals to integration from 1 to 2. Now first of all we will put the value of 1 in place of x. So replacing x by 1 then up to plus replacing x by 1 so it is 1 square by 2 so it is 3 into 1 by 2 which is 3 by 2 and y will be as it is then after 4 lower limit 0 minus replacing x by 0 so both the terms will become 0. Now we will integrate this function with respect to y. Now integration of 1 with respect to y answer is y then after plus 3 by 2 is constant. Now integration of y is to 1 that is y square by 2 and the limit is from 1 to 2. Now first of all we will solve this function for upper limit 2 then after we will solve this function for lower limit 1. Now this is equals to for upper limit 2 it is 2 plus 3 by 2 into 2 square is 4 4 by 2 so this is 4 and divided by 2 2 is 4 so 4 4 will cancel out and we have 2 plus 3 which is 5 then after minus sign now lower limit is 1 replacing y by 1 so it is 1 plus replacing y by 1 so it is 1 square by 2 so it is 1 by 2 now multiplying 1 by 2 by 3 by 2 so it is 3 by 4 now we will simplify this result this is 4 into 1 4 4 plus 3 that is 7 by 4 now subtracting 7 by 4 from 5, the result is 13 by 4. So this is the answer of this double integration. Here first we have integrated with respect to x, 
then with respect to y. If you will first integrate with respect to y, then with respect to x, you will get the same answer because both the limits, limit from 1 to 2 and 0 to 1 are constant. Now evaluate integration from 0 to 1, integration from 0 to x, e raised to y by x, dy, dx. Here is dy, so integration from 0 to x, this is the limit of y. y will vary from 0 to x. And here integration is from 0 to 1 and here it is dx. So this is the limit of x and x will vary from 0 to 1. So whenever one limit is variable, and other limit is constant. So first of all, you have to integrate the given function with the variable limit. Here the variable limit is y. So first of all, we will integrate the given function, which is e raised to y by x with respect to y. Then after we will integrate the given function with respect to x. So here is the solution. Integration from 0 to 1, integration from 0 to x, e raised to y by x dy dx. This is equals to integration from 0 to 1 will be as it is. Now we will integrate e raised to y by x with respect to y keeping x constant. Now integration of e raised to x, answer is e raised to x. But integration of e raised to 3x, answer is e raised to 3x by 3. So integration of e raised to y by x, that will be e raised to y by x and the multiplier of y is 1 upon x. So we have to divide this result by 1 by x and the limit is from 0 to x. Now this is equal to integration from 0 to 1, x into e raised to y by x and the limit is from 0 to x dx. Now this is equal to integration from 0 to 1. Now we will replace y by x. So x will be as it is, e raised to x by x, so it will become e raised to 1. Then after minus or lower limit 0, if you will replace y by 0, so it will become e raised to 0 and e raised to 0 is 1 and if you will multiply 1 by x, the result is x. Now we will integrate this function with respect to x. So integration of x, that is x square by 2, e is the constant value, then after minus, now integration of x raised to 1, answer is x square by 2 and the limit is from 0 to 1. Now first of all we will solve this function for the upper limit 1, then after we will solve this function for the lower limit 0. So for the upper limit 1 it is 1 square into e, so which is e by 2, then after minus 1 square by 2, so it is 1 by 2, and for the lower limit 0, this term will become 0 and this term again will become 0. So the answer is e minus 1 by 2. So this is the answer of this double integration. Now evaluate double integration of x square dA over a given reason R where R is a reason in the first quadrant bounded by hyperbola xy equals to 16 and lines y equals to x, y equals to 0, x equals to 8. So here is the solution. See this is the graph of x y equals to 16, y equals to x, y equals to 0 and x equals to 8. So first of all we have to find out the reason of integration. For that purpose we have to draw the graph of the given curves. So first of all y equals to x line, this is a line passing through origin. Then after y equals to 0 line that is nothing but x axis, then after x equals to 8 that is nothing but a line parallel to y axis passing from this 8 comma 0 point and this hyperbola x y equals to 16 its curve will be like this, this one. If you will put down the value of x equals to 8 over here, so you will get y equals to 2. So intersection point of xy equals to 16 and x equals to 8 line that is q 8 comma 2. Now we have to find out the intersection point of this y equals to x line and this hyperbola xy equals to 16. So if you replace y by x over here, so it will become x square 
equals to 16. So the value of x equals to plus minus 4. But here we are interested a reason in the first quadrant only. So we are neglecting x equals to minus 4. So for x equals to 4, we have y equals to x. So the value of y is also 4. So this intersection point will be 4 comma 4. So the common reason bounded by x y equals to 16, line y equals to x, line y equals to 0 and line x equals to x that is this one right so this is the reason of integration in the first example we have seen that both the limits were constant in the second example we have seen that one limit was constant and the other limit was variable so in third problem the limit is not given to us but we have been given these curves and with the help of these curves we have to find out our reason of integration and from this curve we have to find out the limit of x and limit of y now to evaluate this integration we will divide this overall reason into two parts one is o m r and other is r m t q so for this reason we will take the value of x and value of y so here is x equals to 0 line and here is x equals to 4 line so for this reason its outer limit will be from x equals to 0 to x equals to 4 now to evaluate the limit of y we will consider this strip and this strip is at this line and at this line so here y is 0 and here at this point y equals to x so for this reason of integration limit of x will be from x equals to 0 to x equals to 4 and limit of y will be from y equals to 0 to y equals to x now similarly for this reason of integration r m t q x will vary from 4 to 8 and y will vary from 0 to this curve so from this curve we have to make the subject of y and this curve is x y equals to 16 so y equals to 16 by x so for this reason x will vary from 4 to 8 and y will vary from 0 to 16 by x now for reason r1 i1 equals to double integration x square dA for the given reason r1 and this is equals to limit of x is from 0 to 4 and limit of y is from 0 to x x square and dA that is nothing but dy dx now first of all we will evaluate this integration with respect to y then after with respect to x now integration of x square with respect to y so we have to keep x square constant and integration of 1 with respect to y answer is y and the limit is from 0 to x now integration from 0 to 4 will be as it is now for upper limit x replacing y by x so we have x square into x so that is x cube then after for lower limit 0 this term will become 0 now this is integration from 0 to 4 x cube dx now integration of x cube that is equals to x raised to 4 by 4 and the limit is from 0 to 4 now for upper limit 4 it is 4 raised to 4 by 4 minus or lower limit 0 it is 0 so the answer is 4 raised to 4 upon 4 that is 4 raised to 3 and that is 64 now for reason r2 i2 that is equal to double integration of x square dA for the given reason r2 now this is the limit of x x will vary from 4 to 8 then after this is the limit of y y will vary from 0 to 16 by x 
and the, this function x square will be as it is and dA is dy dx. Now first of all we will integrate this function with respect to y. So integration from 4 to 8 will be as it is, x square will be as it is, integration of 1 with respect to y that is y and the limit is from 0 to 16 by x and this dx will be as it is. Now this is equal to integration from 4 to 8. Now for the upper limit 16 by x we will replace y by 16 by x. So one time x will cancel out and the result is 16x and for the lower limit 0 it will become 0. Now we will integrate 16x with respect to x. Integration of x is x square by 2. So 16 by 2 that is 8. So it is 8x square and limit is from 4 to 8. Now we will simplify this result. Now we will put upper limit 8 then after lower limit 4. So for upper limit 8 it will become 8 into 8 square minus 8 into 4 square and after simplification we will be having this result that is 384. Now i that is equals to i1 plus i2 and the value of i1 is 64 plus i2 is 384 and the total is 448. So in today's lecture we have seen how to find out the double integration when both the limits are constant, when one limit is constant and other limit is variable and finally we have seen how to find out the double integration when the reason r is given to us. So in today's lecture we have seen how to find out double integration when both the limits are constant then after when one limit is constant and other limit is variable and then after we have evaluated double integration over a given reason r. Thank you for watching this video. I will see you in the next lecture. Thank <laughs> you.